weekend in the QC. He's going back to his roots of stand-up. And Joey Coco Diaz joins us now on Good Morning Charlotte. Good day, this morning on Good Day Charlotte. Great to have you here. Thank you for having me in the Queen City. I didn't know it was the Queen City. Well, what, what do you think of the Queen City? You've been here. I you love had a show it. I last love night. It. I mean, it's grown. Last time I was here was maybe 15 years ago, and it's grown leaps and bounds. So yeah, so beautiful looking cities. So we, let's ask for you a Super Bowl prediction right now. What do you think about the Panthers? They're minus the six. The minus the six. Going to go up to minus six and a half by game day. Uh -huh. I like the Panthers, but you never seen a bookie with a part-time job. <laughs> so I like the under too, because like then you, all you got to do is cheer for fumbles and defense. All Nobody right. knows what's going on. You say don't stay away from a Super Bowl. Don't go to the game, right? No, you, we were talking about Super Bowls. Yeah. Now, Super Bowl is one of those things that you get fired up for, and then you get down there, and it's like so many people, you get like an anxiety attack. And you're like, what am I doing here? I just stay in my room and watch it. There's a lot of people walking around. You know? I know. There's a lot of people. Hey, great show. We've seen you on a lot of television shows, yes. for one. But if, if you haven't seen you in, in doing your stand-up act, it is a, it's a funny, funny event. But also, it's not for the family. No, it's not family-oriented, you know. If you're PC, you don't come to the show. It's not that I'm dirty. It's that we just talk about weird topics, you know, weird a different way of attacking them. So yeah. sometimes people get their feelings hurt. So. so if you've got a heckler, yeah, sometimes their feelings hurt. If you've got a heckler sitting in the audience, say he's in the front row or something, what's your way of handling them? I don't. Yeah? I don't give them attention because then they'll go away. Oh, that's a, a good lot way. of people, if I stop and argue with a heckler, that just takes like a negative tone to the show. Now I got to work myself out of a hole. It's like when you say something at a dinner party, now you're the elephant in the room. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's the same way. You just leave them alone and Sometimes they just go away on their own. Sometimes security comes and says you got to go or, you know. You're irreverent for sure. And I love uh, listening to you, some of your rants that you keep going on. Is there anything sacred to you? No. 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 <laughs> no. no. Because humor has to be a, I was thinking about the PC. I, I found somebody dead once. Oh, Right? Wow. Like, I found somebody dead that was close to me. And I'll never forget this. I remember, like, going over, checking their pulse, and then thinking of a joke like that. I get now that person will never get to see this. Like, and I think about it now. Like, I added humor to my daily life. Something happened, I added humor to it. And that's it, it goes away. When somebody dies, I call people sometimes and I mm -hmm. go, I'm sorry about your death. And then right before the conversation ends, I go, What's in the will? And they crack up, you know? Because <laughs> you throw them off their game a little bit. That's what humor does. So. Yeah, and you know what? Humor, for you guys, you, you, gra you grab your material from everyday life. It Absolutely. seems like, how do, you, uh, how do you practice that? Do you sit in front of the mirror of the bedroom at night or what? No, you, you sit on a plane and see somebody walk on a plane with McDonald's, for example. McDonald's smells completely different in a restaurant than what it does on a plane. You ever smell McDonald's on a plane? <laughs> you want to shoot yourself. It's delicious. <laughs> Quarter pounder with cheese is great. But on a plane, it doesn't smell it doesn't the same. doesn't smell so good. When you're a comic, you're, it's, it's, it's the world and your views on the world and how you say them, you know? It's an art. So well, nothing you, is you, sacred. You, yeah, nothing is sacred. And you're definitely a funny guy. You know, I love your Twitter handle, too, Mad Flavor. How'd That's that it. come from? Uh, props know, to Mad Flavor. I'm Cuban. You know, I'm Spanish, so I always like to add flavor to stuff. My wife, you know, she, sometimes she cooks without salt, you know, and so I'm flavor. That's what <laughs> That's so like, my friends call me bad it. flavor. Yeah, we're talking about doing your, your, your stand up here. Where, where else are you going after this? You got a long tour? St. Louis. This is a Savage Dad tour. I'm 53 next two weeks, and I have a three year old. So it's tough. Wow, it's very, oh, my wife is 46. That'll make you young. You have no idea. So I've really gotten involved. Uh, I don't know. It's like I walk to the school. And now I'm scared, so I walk it with a gun. Sometimes I carry a gun to school, and my wife's like, what's going on with you? And I'm like, because I'm a savage. I'm a dad. You know, it's a different time. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to walk in with a lot of folks right now. You don't know. You never gun. know. So I put out a CD called Savage Dad, and this is a tour. This is a Savage Dad tour. And the poster is me walking my daughter to school, and you actually see the butt handle. Sticking out of the back of my pants. And, and you know, because we live in weird times now. All right. I love it. Joey Coco Diaz. And you're going to be tonight at the Comedy Zone tonight, in Tonight, 730, 945. And Saturday, 730, 945. Tickets are going quick. So do what you need to do. Uh, funny, funny man. We're seeing. All right. Thank you so much for thank being here. Thank you for there. having me, Mike. Appreciate friend. it.